Everyone has challenging moments in their lives. Little incidents which, although they seem small, can have a profound impact on someone's mental health. It just so happened that for me, one of my little moments was in front of millions of people. During my first dive at the 2012 Olympic final, and, uh, the, opening dive for Tom Daly. the flashes that came from the audience's cameras caught my eye and I lost where I was in the air. That's a four star for Tom Daly. When I hit the water, I immediately went over to the referee. Tom has been given permission for a redive, right? He needs to compose himself now. But the pressure of the competition and the fact of millions of people watching from around the globe and expecting me to win at a home Olympics had a profound and long lasting impact on my mental health. Every time I tried to perform the dive, I was taken back to that exact point in time. Look at this, you can see the flashes going on. My body pretty much refused to perform a dive I'd spent years learning and perfecting. Because from a mental perspective, I didn't want to remind myself of what was an incredibly traumatic experience. That one moment was the start of a very challenging period in my life. Over the next few months, I moved from my hometown of Plymouth to London. I changed my coach, meaning I had to start working on a new professional relationship. Perhaps the biggest change in my life though was coming out and that brought a whole new level of pressures and expectations. In a nutshell, I was juggling so much in one go and wasn't giving myself enough care and attention. And this started manifesting itself in a number of different ways. I was barely sleeping, obsessing over every little detail, even avoiding the little cracks in the pavement for fear of jinxing myself and giving myself bad luck. Diving is all I've ever known. It's my one true passion. But all of these pressures weighed so heavily on me that in February 2013, I made the decision to quit the sport. It just so happened I had a scheduled trip to LA and this was the start of a brand new chapter in my life. I met Lance, he's now my husband. It was all exciting again and everything started to fall back into place. Lance understood me, he understood the pressures and the sacrifices and all the commitment and dedication and the fears of success and the highs and lows of everything that has to go into it. And he challenged me to think positively again. He challenged me to face my demons head on and I decided to go back to what I knew best and that's diving. When I got back to the UK, I spoke at length with my coach. She suggested a number of additional techniques I could use to help alleviate my anxiety. Mindfulness and meditation are incredibly useful. I have a stressful, pressurized job, and even taking 10 minutes out of your day to take a breath, step back and think about things from a different perspective is super important. I practice this every single day. I soon realized I couldn't even attempt the dive that started all this mess in the first place. I had to take a completely fresh approach. My coach suggested that we create an entirely new dive inspired by an old circus trick. She showed me how you can take a challenge, flip it on its head, think of a solution and move forward. I was the first person to ever perform this dive on the platform. And it's even earned its own nickname, the firework. Got Lance to thank for that one. I have a different mindset now. I face my problems head on and work hard to think in a more positive way. I constantly remind myself that I'm only human. Things are going to go wrong sometimes and life is a constant challenge. But if you surround yourself with the right people and work your absolute hardest, you'll be the best version of you. Oh yes, it's much better. Well done, Tom. And that's how I became the best me.